Hi guys, in today's tutorial I will show you how to properly track Saber effect very easy in After Effects. You often send me your edits and ask to help you with tracking issues and ask why your sabers are always flying somewhere, so in today's video I will answer on your questions. Let's begin. First let's create new solid layer. I will name it Saber and then always make sure to make solid size larger than your composition. In my case my composition is 1080p, so I will make it around 3000 by 3000 and then hit OK. Now let's apply Saber plugin on that solid layer. Under a Saber effect, expand render settings and change composite settings to transparent. Then expand customize core and change core type to layer masks. And now we can grab any of masking tools and create a shape. I will grab an ellipse tool and make a circle something like that. Once you are done with your masks and shapes, time to select the clip and then hit on track camera button here. Let's wait until analyzing is done. And once it's done, we can scroll the video to find the best points. For example I want the saber to follow the car, so I will select some points on the car here, then right click and select create solid and camera. Now I will move saber layer above track solid and then enable 3D on it. If we now play the video, we will see that the saber is tracked, but it doesn't follow the car. It happens because saber Z position and the track solid Z position don't match. Let me show you how to fix it. But first let me correct an anchor point of the saber layer. As you can see my saber is here and the anchor is somewhere here. To fix it, make sure saber layer is selected, then hold control on your keyboard and double click on anchor point tool here. And now the anchor is centered and in case we scale the saber layer, it will be scaled from the center here. So now we can fix the tracking issue as well. Let's select track solid layer and press P on a keyboard. Now copy track solids position and then select saber layer again and paste that position on it. Let's check if the saber follows the car. And as you see it's fixed and my saber follows the car as I planned it to be. Let's quickly scale it, reposition, change orientations and then we can check it again. Done, everything is fixed and it follows the car perfectly. Now we can toggle off track solid layer and we are ready to go. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.